Welcome back to World History. I'm Mr. McCall. Today we're going to be discussing agricultural inventions that allowed the Sumerian city-states to create a stable food supply and a complex society. And all we're doing is identifying them. So it's really not that really not that challenging. You just need to know these two that I'm going to be discussing. Now, first off, we have the Kool-Aid man saying, "Oh yeah, what in the world could this possibly have to do with ancient Sumer? Well, when we've been discussing some of these agricultural inventions, I've been calling them like Kool-Aid. All right, so uh, I've been talking about irrigation systems. Irrigation systems supply water to crops. They take the water from a river and they divert it through trenches and canals into a field where there's crops. All right, so that's adding your water to the pitcher of Kool-Aid. But that's not enough. That's not everything. Because if you just add water to your pitcher, you're going to have at the bottom of your pitcher a bunch of sugar and Kool-Aid mix. It's not going to taste good up top. And then when you get down here, it's just going to be way too much. All right, so what did they need to do? Well, they needed to come up with a way to turn the fields. They needed to come up with a plow. And that's what we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss the plow that helped them mix up the Kool-Aid and the irrigation system that helped them supply the water to the Kool-Aid. So hopefully, by the end of the day, that uh, makes more sense. We'll see. All right, so what we have here are two pictures. And these are two pictures that we've used in the past to show us an irrigation system and a plow. So when we look over here, we have an irrigation system. Now, the important thing to remember about the irrigation systems is that this is not something one person can make. All right, this is a river, and this is a, a trench that goes a long ways. That's a lot of work, and one person can't do that. You might be thinking to yourself, Mr. McCall, if I had a shovel, I could dig that. This might be your land. This is somebody else's land. This is somebody else's. And it's all somebody else's land. So it requires people to come together to agree on something and to build something together. Not only that, but to maintain it, to take care of it. Think of uh, the subways. I can't go out and build the subway. I have to uh, have uh, agreement with other people to actually build a subway. I'm not actually even trained to build a subway. So the government steps in. When we have something that will benefit everyone, we call that the common good. And what is a common good? Well, a common good is something that everyone benefits from. So all these people that lived around this benefited from this trench that was dug, but they couldn't have done it on their own. They had to do it in common. They had to share that. Uh, so this is the irrigation system. Uh, that is supplying the water to the Kool-Aid, as so to speak. Um, and it required people to come together and form governments and form city-states. Now the other one, <clears throat> Kool-Aid's not complete. If you just add water to it, you need to turn it. So when we look at the plow, this is actually a picture representing ancient Sumer, but this would have been a later plow because plows originally were something that humans had to drag across the field. Basically, it's a, this wooden contraption with a, a blade on the end. And they initially, would have had a stone blade at the end. And they drag it across the dirt so that it pulls up the nutrients from the bottom, Kool-Aid and turns it over. All right. The reason you do that is because if you look at this gentleman right here, he's got a, a bag. And in that bag, he's got seeds. And what he's doing is he's walking along and he's throwing seeds. All right. He's throwing the seeds, hoping that they'll grow. Now, if you had not mixed the Kool-Aid, then all the nutrients would be underground. So the seeds that he throws would land on the ground, bad soil, it wouldn't grow. So what they found was that if you plow the field, turn up the good nutrients, then the seeds that you throw would do better because they would be landing in really rich soil. 
that was underground. All right. So what we have here is the irrigation system, which required many people to work together. It required a government because there would be arguments. There would be uh, a great difficulty putting it together and maintaining it. And we have the plow. The plow helped to stir the soil, turn the soil so that the nutrients would be available for the good seed or for the seeds. All right. So today. Our goal was to identify agricultural inventions that allowed Sumerian city-states to create a stable food supply and a complex society. We've got two. We've got the irrigation system and the plow. We've got the water for the Kool-Aid, and we've got it stirred. I hope this was edifying. This has been World History with Mr. McCall. Take care.